Hello, I'm Rob, and coming up on R&B Reviews, the final installment of the successful Hunger Games series is out, and I will have my review for you. Thanks for checking out R&B Reviews, Mockingjay Part 2 marks the swan song of the successful Hunger Games movie series. While I didn't think Part 2 was quite as good as the first two installments, I thought that this one was much better than Mockingjay Part 1. Picking up from where we left off, Katniss, played by Jennifer Lawrence, decides she wants to be more than just a symbol of the rebellion against the Capitol. She joins a squad who are planning to invade the city and participates in battles and even gets ensnared in some traps, but she does it with one goal in mind, to assassinate President Snow, played by Donald Sutherland. Mockingjay Part 2 is more of an on-the-edge-of-your-seat war thriller compared with the first two films that mixed in some culture satire with obsession with fame and the now uh, popular, uh, fading popularity of reality shows. While this film, I felt, took a little while to get going, what eventually followed was a suspenseful thriller full of twists and turns that really had me drawn in. Um, I didn't know what President Snow had in mind and what would happen with Katniss's group, but then again, I didn't read the book, so I didn't really know. <laughs> uh, but in between all these action, violent moments, we do get a few uh, quite moving, quiet bits with Katniss and Peeta, played by Josh Hutcherson, who's recovering from being brainwashed by Snow and is trying to separate what is real from what are lies. Liam Hemsworth plays Gale, who is somebody that Katniss isn't sure if she loves or not. Again, Jennifer Lawrence, I think, delivers terrific performance here. When the script calls her to get really emotional or really get involved, she pulls it off very well. The rest of the cast, again, deliver terrific performances. We have Julianne Moore as the coin, the leader of the rebellion. Donald Sutherland, uh, sorry, Donald Sutherland, again, playing a very sneaky, manipulative President Snow. And, of course, Philip Seymour Hoffman in his last film. Again, a very well, very terrific performance. The movie moves at a very swift pace. The score really complements the movie well, as does the visual effects. I thought the visual effects were very top-notch as well. Um, the drawbacks I had with this film was I thought that Mockingjay Part 2 suffered a little bit of Return of the King Syndrome at the end, and there were a lot of characters to keep track of, and if something happened uh, to a member of Katniss's group, I sometimes had a hard time remembering who they were. But regardless, I thought Mockingjay Part 2 delivered a satisfying conclusion, so I am going ahead and recommend this movie. Alright, well that's my review of Mockingjay Part 2, and now I'm going to turn the comments over to you. What did you think of the movie? Go ahead and post your comments. Uh, if you're interested, visit the main page and look at some other movies that are playing in the theaters as well as available for you to watch in the comforts of your own home. Whether it's on the, your computer, streaming, Netflix, uh, DVD, Blu-ray, the whole shebang. And if you're interested, uh, consider being a subscriber to the channel. Thank you very much for watching.